Good afternoon. This is Mr. Willing, West Virginia. It's the 21st day of uh, November, day before Thanksgiving. And um, I was flipping through a devotional. And I found this note that someone wrote me, because uh, it's not my handwriting. It actually looks like one of my children's handwriting. But it basically says, the messing up is part of the plan. And it's dated for 5-22-09, which was... It was uh, a long time ago, nine years ago. Um, it made a lot of my children very young. But the thought, I've been looking at it over and over and over again, and just looking at it, and I'm thinking the messing up is part of the plan. You know, if we go back to the very beginning, in the Garden of Eden, when Adam and Eve fell, disobeyed God, and uh, partook of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and were banished from that garden, you realize that as you look through scripture that the messing up was part of the plan. If you look through scripture and you look through the lives of Moses, of David, of, uh, of, of all the great disciples and apostles, um, the messing up is part of the plan. You may think that because you keep messing up or keep sinning or keep being angry or keep eating too much or keep being hateful that somehow God can never use you. Somehow God can never make your life any better. But the messing up is part of the plan. See, God is strong when we are weak. Even Paul said he had something he prayed for God to remove over and over and over again because it was, it was a thorn in his flesh. And um, God said, my grace is sufficient because the messing up is part of the plan. Am I saying that that gives you a license to keep messing up? No. Grace doesn't give you a license to keep messing up. But it gives you a license to still be loved by God no matter how you act. Any of you that have been parents, you know when your children are acting stupid, you still love them. You may not like what they're doing, but you still love them. Because you know that the messing up is part of the plan. It's part of them growing up. It's part of them learning what's right and what's wrong. It's part of them maturing. Um, and I still have to go back to my buddy Puzzles. Um, you know, when he first came into the Emmaus community, he was he was raw. He was a young man that just said whatever and did whatever and just kind of, you know what, people had to pour into him. But the messing up was part of the plan. The messing up was part of, if he wasn't someone that was messing up, most of us wouldn't be amazed at what he was when he passed on to be with the Lord. Because he messed up a lot, just like I mess up a lot. And as God gets a hold of your heart and as you let the Holy Spirit lead and guide you in the truth, the messing up becomes less and less, but it's still a part of the plan. I've messed up enough for five or six guys, honestly. And you know what? God's used it all for his glory. And I've had to learn to not beat myself up and not feel guilt and condemnation because that's not God. God didn't come. God, even when he sent his son to the earth, he didn't send his son to the earth to condemn it. He came to save it. Condemnation comes from the enemy. The devil loves to say, ooh, look what you did. You're not a good Christian. You're not a good person. You're very bad. You're going to spend eternity with me. That's what the devil does. But God says, you know what? I love you. That messing up, it's all part of the plan. Still love you. Eventually you'll understand my love and you'll love me back. And then we'll be good. So, just want to encourage you, if you're having a day where you're messing up, it's all part of the plan. Just repent. Ask God to forgive you. Tell him you love him. Tell him that you're very thankful for his life in your life. And go on. Because God loves you. I say it all the time. I love you, but God loves you way more. All right? Hey, have a great day. Shalom.